And that's a good spin because she deserves it. I'm serious. I, I'm not greedy with her. I said, you can buy anything you want when we've got it. But when I tell her, no, not, not this month, okay, I'll wait till next month. Will you double it? <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys. Seriously, people. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, God has been so good, people. And I'll tell you what, in a couple, oh my God, I, I can hardly wait to get rid of this little thing that's been bugging me. You know? Yeah. Don't you ever have those things that you just wish, my God, I still have to go one month and pay off this thing. And pretty soon you've got six months and three months. And here comes the last payment. <laughs> you know, I've seen people make up their last payment. I love locals. They go back and they get into debt again. Because now, oh, I got another 500. I, come on, people. Man, put a little bit away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to me. The days of famine are coming. The days of famine are coming. Be like a Joseph. Man, start storing up some things for yourself. Right. Amen? Because there may be some lean years that are going to come. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to say, let the years come. I've got plenty. Because that's what Joseph did. Amen? Amen? And that's what we have to do, people. Amen? Because from month to month to month, don't you hate paying that month to month to month? Don't you want that thing to end? Yeah. Huh? I know that I do, and I'm getting there, because I'm achieving my goals, people. I don't know about you guys, but I know what I know. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Therefore, he says, Son of Man, verse 27, Son of Man, he says, look at the house of Israel. The vision that he sees is for many days from now, and he prophesies it that times far off. Therefore, go back and say to them, look, thus says the Lord God. This is God speaking to us, people. He says, none of my words will be postponed anymore. But the word which I speak will be done, says the Lord God. Amen. 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 Do you have an open heart? Do you have an open ear to receive what the Spirit of God has to say here tonight? Amen. 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 Turn over to the book of Philippians. Real quick, people. We're going to go through this real quick. Oh, yeah, I got time today. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Jesus, you're going to get the whole enchilada today. <laughs> Amen. Philippians chapter 3, starting verse, in verse 12, he says, Not that I have already attained, or am I already perfected, but I press on. Thank you, Father. Look, people, if you have set goals in your life, Keep pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing till you get the blessing. Yeah. 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 Where did that come from? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Keep pressing. The blessing will come. You know why? Because there's a promise there from God. Yeah. Amen. Look, not that I have already attained it or am already perfected, but I press on. Amen. Tell somebody, press on. Oh, press on, people. Press on. Amen. Press on. Press, on. press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid up hold of me. Brother, he says, I do not count myself to apprehend it or grab hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. That's pressing, people. Yes. Verse 14, look. I press towards the goal. Amen? Amen? I press towards the goal for the prize of the Woo! upward call of Amen. God in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? There's something there that's waiting for you. What? Yes. At the goal line. Amen. There's something there. When you cross that goal line, people... You are going to receive your reward. Yes, amen. Don't think that I, uh, I, that this poverty mentality that sometimes we get, we think, my God, when are we going to get out of this poverty hole that you got yourself into it? Now get out of it. I may be sounding a little hard tonight. But, but I, 
I want you guys to get this into your hearts. Because I want you to wake up from all this. No, seriously, people. Look, I don't, I don't know how many, how many, what you guys do for a living, how much you guys get paid for this and for that. It doesn't matter. What, what matters is what you're doing. You know, don't worry about it if you're down here right now. Because you could be up here. Yes, amen. 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 Seriously, people. I'm, I'm telling you, wh why, do you hold, why do you hold back? You got a plan? No, do you have a plan? Yes. Do you have a vision? Mm. Then run with it. Amen. Amen. Run with it. Amen. Because sometimes too many people have a tendency of just relaxing, mm -hmm. kicking back, yeah. waiting for something to happen. Sometimes people are falling asleep, mm -hmm. even in church. <laughs> Wake up. wake up, people. Amen. 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 No, the Lord wants you to wake up. No, physically, wake up. I know you guys are tired. Guess what? I'm tired, too. I've been up for a long time. But i got to press on. Man, I thank God that he gives me the energy to do all this. I love this. I love getting into his word. Even if I wasn't standing behind the pulpit, I was still getting into his word. Because I knew that one day God was going to bring us up to here, right here. We're right here. Right? <laughs> that we were going to get to a place and we never let go of that vision because there was a goal that God was, he, he, man, he was pushing and pushing. And, and yeah, los caímos, we stumbled a little bit here and there and the eggs and the paint, but we never gave up. Amen. Amen. We're not done yet. God's not done with us. And God's not done with you guys. Man, you guys got so much talent in you, you guys don't even know it because all you're doing is just selling for what? 40 hours a week? Come on, don't you want some OT? Huh? OT is good. The overtime is good. Hey, Amen. You know what's even better? When they pay you cash. <laughs> Seriously, people. There's, there's so much you can do, you guys. Yeah. And there's, there's goals that God has, has laid out for you. What, it, even if you're retired, man, I'm still making money. I'm still doing the things that God has called me to do. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. He says, Brother, I do not count myself to apprehend, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those points, things which are ahead. Let go of yesterday. This is what he's telling us. Okay, you're not there no more. Quit thinking that way. Start thinking better for yourself. Amen? I press towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Look, therefore let us as many are mature. How many mature people do we have in this place? Man, I hope everybody's raising their hand. You too, you hope. raise your hand up. You, you. I think you're a grown man in a little man's body. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're just like Jacob. Amen. And Jacob's not here because he had to work late. But he's pressing too. Amen. Amen. He says, therefore, let us as many are as mature have this mind. If in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, it says, nevertheless, to the degree, to the degree that we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule and let us be of the same mind. Amen. 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 Philippians 4.13 tells us this, look, that we can do all things. Why do you limit yourself when the word says that you can do all things? No. Why do we limit ourselves when you can do all things? Look, I don't do anything that I don't know how to do. I do all things because I know how to do this. Amen. I know how to do a lot of things. You know, I, I can pat myself on, on, on my, right here, look, I was a better welder than I am an electrician. I really was, you guys. I was a good welder. I worked for the railroad. I had my own welding business. I did good. I was good at that. Seriously. But then the Lord changed my career, and I became an electrician. 
And through all that, I started learning because there was something, look, I had to feed my family. I had to keep a roof over my roof, our heads. I had to, man, we had to, I had to clothe them. I had to do all these things and I kept pressing and pressing. I remember when I got into the trade, I came home with books this high. I said, hey, I told my wife, I can't do this. Come on, we're going back to Tucson. <laughs> I can't do this, I can't do this. And she kept saying, yes you can. She kept encouraging me. My faith level wasn't there yet. I had faith, but I didn't have faith like I have faith now. I have learned how to, to, to get this faith in me. And, 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 and through all this, I remember, man, I remember putting in the tapes as I was going to, to work early in the mornings. I was an apprentice, putting in the tapes, learning this and learning that, working all day, going to school at night, coming back home, fighting the freeways, coming home, eating dinner, going to sleep, getting up early and doing it. Over and over and over and over. But I never gave up. Amen, amen. I never gave up. And I thank God that I did it. Amen. 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 Oh my God, people. To achieve the goals in life is up to you. You know what? There's no limitations. As Christians, we should not put limits on ourselves. We should have no limitations. If, you, if you're not happy with where you're at in life right now, go and make yourself happy. Get something, do something and make yourself. What do I have to do? Do I have to take a, a course at night? Do I have to do this? Do I have to give up this? Do whatever it takes to reach those goals. Amen? It's okay if you're, if you're working in, in, a, in a warehouse or in a factory or whatever. Been there, done that. I've done so many things, people, I don't care. As long as I was getting some money. Show me the money. We need money in life, people. You can't do nothing without money. Nothing. Amen? So do me a favor. Don't go out there trying to take advantage of the system. Because then the system is going to fail you. Amen? And there, all this time that you spent taking advantage of something when you could have been doing something. Man, I tell you what, people. If we don't wake up to what the Lord is saying here tonight, amen, turn over to the book of Hebrews. Amen. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Are you guys there? And it's so funny, though, because my wife quoted this, and she didn't even know this. Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 1, it says, Therefore, it says, we also, it says, we also, since we are surrounded by so great of a cloud of witnesses. Did you guys hear my wife say that? Why, why do you think God gave me this, and the Lord brought it to her, and she had no clue? Why? Because there's people in heaven right now that are doing this. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I can do it. I see you. I see you, Pastor Bob. I'm talking about myself. I see you, Pastor Bob. You just keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Doesn't matter. The obstacles are going to come. The Tobias are going to come. The sample lots are going to come. Don't worry about all that, Pastor Bob. We got your back. You just keep being obedient. Come on. And, 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 and this is for all of you. Look, there's a lot of witnesses cheering us on. And, 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 oh, my God. Then the Lord gave me this. And he says, can you imagine when people take a step backwards? And here all this time they've been clapping for you. And you're taking a step backwards. Now you're losing faith. Now you're going back into your iniquity. And pretty soon you're at the edge. That's a big one. <laughs> oh my God, people. Wow. Yep. And here, there's a plot of witnesses cheering us on. Yeah. Huh? I, then I started thinking about this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are the witnesses? The angels of God or our loved ones that are cheering us on that have gone to heaven? I think it's both. I think so too. Amen. It's a cloud 
of witnesses. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Come on, Mijo, you can do it. Yeah. Come on, you don't have to go back and do it again. Don't don't go there. Mijo, <laughs> come on. Don't do that. If, 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 can you imagine if, if if God was just to show us a little bit of heaven? I mean, send down um, a true message from God. I mean, the messages are here. The word of God is here. But I'm talking that the angel of God will come and speak to you just like he did with Daniel. Just like he did with Gideon. To show him. Oh my God, people. What would you do? Man? How would you act? How would you react? Hey man, can you imagine? Can you imagine somebody in heaven talking to God and says, Lord, can you just send me down there just for a minute? Because if they see me, they're going to believe. Wow. Wow. Remember that story in the Bible? Huh? Where it talks about the man, the rich man and the poor man? Huh? It says, Lord, it says, and, and the heavens were opened up, mm. and the man in hell could see heaven, mm. and he could see Abraham with the poor man mm. at his bosom. Mm. Lord, can you just go warn my brothers mm. about this place? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He said, no. Mm. If they didn't believe yes. the yes. prophet, how much more are they going to believe if I send you? That's true. Come on now. <coughs> if you can't believe this book, what are you going to believe? Look, this is God's word, people. He left us a message. He left us a word to live by so that we could stand by it and stand on it. What part of this book don't you believe? No, seriously. What part of this book don't you believe as a believer? This is for everybody in here. Look, there's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of Christians. They've got one foot in and one foot out. It slide, slide, slide. <laughs> Skip to Maluma, darling. <laughs> they keep just sliding from the left to right. That's After they keep sliding from the left to right, then they become backsliders. <laughs> I'm telling you, people, this word, this word, this word, this word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. In the beginning, all things were made through him. Oh my God, people. Esta la palabra. Mira, I have to say this in Spanish so you Mexicans can get it too. <laughs> Esta la palabra de Dios. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. No, listen to me. Es la palabra de Dios. Yeah. This is the word of God. Uh -huh. There is no other word. Right. There's been millions of books that have been written about this word. But there is no other word but this word. Yeah. And if we can't stand on it and we can't believe it, and you want to mess around with God's word, go ahead. Go out and drink. Go out and be merry. Go out and party. Do all these things. Even Jesus warned us. Even it was like in the days of Noah. We're in the days of Noah. And some will party. Party. One day, people, come on now. Come on now. one day, one day, yeah. one day, we're going to stand before the Lord. That's right, that's right. That's right. There ain't going to be no Miller's life. No. <laughs> there ain't going to be no Bud Wiser. Because Bud Wiser just makes Bud dumber. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we're going to have to grab a hole. There's too many people outside of church. My God, this is this is the house of God. Where are the people? Where are God's people?
Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us or traps us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Amen. First John, Second John, verse eight. It's only one chapter. He says, and I shared this with you guys the last time. Look to yourselves. Don't worry about your husband. Don't worry about your wives. Don't worry about your sons and daughters, your grandmas, your tias, or nobody. Don't even worry about your pastors. Just look to yourselves that we do not lose these things that we have worked for, but that we may receive a full reward. There is a reward, people, that is coming to those people that have been working diligently, believing, standing in faith, in the things of God. I'm telling you, things that I was reading this morning about entering into the Holy of Holies goes beyond our imagination. The things that I read, the things that people had to do to get ready and prepared. Oh my God, our mindset. Thinking the worst about the worst. Our thoughts the intents of our thoughts towards our brothers and sisters in Christ, the intents of our thoughts within our hearts towards each other. Oh my God, people. We, we, we have to quit doing that. You may not like them because of the way they act, the way they talk, the offenses that came to you, the hurt and the pain they brought to you. Listen to me, you guys. Look to yourselves. Don't worry about it. Well, you just don't know, Pastor Bob, what they've been saying. You don't know what they've been doing. They're talking. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Come on. Grow up. Get to that place of perfection where God wants you to perfect right. yourself Amen. so you can get to that area in your life so you can be mature enough yes. to say, no, no, that's it, Gail. You know that's what? Right. I'm going to pray for you, brother. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to pray for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you hear all this stuff, or when they start throwing little darts, you know, people are pretty good at throwing things on Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Hitting yeah. things. Words, they throw certain things, they oh, yeah. label certain things. Oh, yeah. and, and sometimes you pick it up. If you have enough discernment, you can read between the lines, people, so of what these people are <coughs> saying and what they're throwing at you. Cristianos. Cristianos. My God, God wants to perfect us, people. How can God, how can, how can, how can we get perfected if we're still holding on to all these weights that weigh us down, look, clean up your act. Clean up your act. Clean up your thoughts and your ways. Who cares what people are saying and doing? Just brush it off, people. Look, the, the hurts and the pains are going to come because Jesus told us that was going to happen. Because of his namesake. Look, you're trying to follow God the, the, the best way that you can. <coughs> oh, man, here, here it comes to dump some stuff on you. And you're trying to walk with God. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. How do we handle all this? Let it go, people. Let it go. I mean, I'm important. I don't care what people say. I don't. It doesn't bother me. It, it's there, it bothers me for a little bit. And there's sometimes, and I'm sitting there all of a sudden, here it comes again. Here comes that thought again. Lord, erase that thought. Amen. I don't want to go there That's no right. more. That's right. I don't want to go there. I mean, because it holds me back from achieving my goals that God wants. You know that it holds you back? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. Good word, Lord. Good. Look to yourselves that we do not lose these things that we have worked for. Amen? Yeah. Amen? 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 Amen. Thank you, Father.
Go over to the book of 2 Chronicles. Take you back a little bit. Amen. I love this man. I tell you what, we're going to end with this. Amen. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, starting in verse 17. 2 Chronicles 20, 17, it says, You will not need to fight in this battle. Amen. <laughs> you will not need to. So just get out of the way and let God handle it. Yes. Lord. You will not need to fight into this battle. He says, I love this word. Mira, mira. Position yourself. Mm -hmm. That's good. No, position yourself. Right. You know how to position yourself. Amen? Amen? You know the things that you have to do to stand firm, mm -hmm. unshakable, steadfast, unmovable. Come on now. Come what? On. Get, get, yeah. get. <laughs> Where did all that come? It's in the Word. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, people. Position yourself. Yeah. Oh my God, people, what does it take to position yourself? Who's in the military in here? Me, George, Alfred, that's it, three veterans, praise God. Remember what they used to say? Who? See, I still remember. Right face. Where the hell is doing it? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm his drill sergeant? <laughs> <laughs> I am. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, people, you gotta learn how to position yourself. Yeah. Yeah. See, because in, in the military, they teach you how to discipline yourself. They teach you how to position yourself. They teach you all these things. You know why? Because they're getting you ready to go into battle. Right. And if you're not ready, and if they don't get you prepared for the battle, guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to die. You're going to die in the battle. Amen? I hope you guys are picking up on that. Amen. The battle is not yours, he says. Just position yourself. You know what to do when the enemy's at hand. What do you do? You go and pray. What do you do? You worship the Lord. Amen? Amen? And what do you do? You go and praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen? Because that's when the enemy flees. The word of God says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Yeah. Amen. Three things that you say. All you got to do is come on, people. That's positioning yourself. By submitting to God. What God? This God. Amen. Word. Amen. The whole book. Yes. I'm, I'm, oh my God, people. What's it going to take to, you know, we, we, we ah, yeah, yeah, Lord, I don't know how to tell them no more. Cabezones. <laughs> Amen. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself. Stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. <laughs> you think that God is not with you? Huh? When you call in His name on the day of battle? Because the battles are going to come, people. All you have to do is position yourself and stand and pray and believe. And you know what? If you're weak, you better call somebody that's a lot stronger than you. And just don't call nobody. Amen? Just don't call nobody just to hear somebody talk. Mm, come on now. You call somebody that you can depend on. Exactly. You call somebody that's going to, man, I can't believe how many phone calls my wife gets through the day. <laughs> the next time they call Marcia, tell them, position yourself. Amen. The battle's not yours, but God's. Right. Go and pray. Go and turn your worship music. Go and turn your praises. It's 1 o'clock in the God. morning. i got to go to bed. Woo, come on. Oh, we get our midnight Jeez. calls, people, yeah. and I turn around and I say, who is it, babe? Oh, my God, they're, they're at it again. Mm -hmm. Come on now, come on now. Don't wake me up unless it's an emergency. <laughs> Don't call us like that. 
Call for an appointment or something. <laughs> Don't wake me up at one o'clock in the morning. Just don't we all want to. I'm counting sheep. <laughs> You're seeing our faces. Five, five, six, and seven. <laughs> it doesn't take me long. I don't, I don't think I, I count ten sheep and I'm out. <laughs> Amen. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go against them, for the Lord is with you. Amen. 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 So the Lord Woo! is with Amen. you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Don't you love this? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And I wasn't even supposed to preach tonight. <laughs> but I was ready for the battle. Amen. Amen. I'm serious. At the last minute, I get a phone call. That's about no le hace, no le hace. I'm ready. Amen. I'm always ready. Amen. I'm always ready for the battle. Amen. Seriously, people. Amen. I told my wife, go get some dinner, babe. I can't, we can't go out today. I, I got to get into the word now, 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 Amen. now. Amen. Yes. Amen. Sure enough, boy. Thank the Lord just brought me up, opened up my mind, my heart, poured all this into you. So yeah. you guys could get better. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Let's stand up and pray.